Hello everyone, welcome to IIT Foundation classes. This is Srinivas, your math faculty. So let us move on to the today's class. Yeah, today we are going to discuss about the topic between relation between LCM and HCF. Relation between LCM and HCF. Okay, so in our previous class we discussed about what is LCM and what is HCF and we learned what is factor and what is multiple and to identify or to find out LCM and HCF we have used different type of methods nothing but prime factorization method we discussed and continued division method also we discussed right now we are dealing with the topic of relation between LCM and HCF and also how to find the LCM and HCF of fractional numbers how to find the LCM and HCF of fractional numbers okay so let us start with today's session so first of all just relation between LCM and HCF so simply the relation is nothing but when you take any two numbers any two prime numbers or composite numbers whatever or co primes if you take any two numbers the relation between LCM and HCF is nothing but product of two numbers equals to product of their LCM and HCF okay so relation is nothing but product of LCM and HCF is equals to product of two numbers okay now see here I am writing the relation here nothing but product of two numbers product of two numbers any two numbers whether they are composite or prime or co primes whatever doesn't matter but product of two numbers is always equals to product of their LCM and HCF product of their LCM and HCF so this is the condition to prove the relation between LCM and HCF for example for example 30 and 45 30 and 45 are the two numbers according to the condition it should be satisfies product of these two numbers which should be equals to product of their LCM and HCF so let me identify LCM and HCF by using prime factorization method so 30 I am using the prime factorization method try to find out all its prime factors so 3 table here 3 times are 30 2 table 5 times 5 table 1 time so 3 into 2 into 5 is a prime factorization of 30 and 45 here again 3 table 3 table 15 times again 3 table 5 times and 5 table 1 time and 30 which is nothing but can be expressed as 3 into 2 into 5 and the second number 45 we can write as 3 into 3 into 5 now let me find out the HCF HCF is, which is nothing but only the common factors between these two numbers so first 3 yeah, 3 is the common between both of them so we can write 1 3 among it and 5 5 is also the number which is having a common factor in both of the numbers so HCF equals to 3 into 5 which is nothing but 15 and what is LCM with common factors I am taking the common factors 3 and 5 and including the remaining numbers also what are the remaining numbers we left here 2 and 3 so we can take 2 into 3 ok so which is nothing, nothing but 3 3 is are 9 9 into 10 90 LCM is 90 and HCF is 15 now according to the relation according to this relation product of two numbers product of two numbers which is nothing but 30 into 45 which should be equals to LCM into HCF what is LCM we got the LCM is 90 and HCF is 15 let us multiply both of them we will get the same answer or not let us check now 345 so 340 are 120 35 15 
So, 135 with 0. 1350 is the LHS value. And RHS value. So, 9 tens are 90, 9 fives are 45. This is also 135. See, when you take any two numbers, when you find the LCM and HCF of both of the numbers, which that means their product LCM into HCF is equals to product of the two numbers. That should be satisfies for any number, any two numbers, whether they are composite or prime numbers. It will work. So, this is the relation between LCM and HCF. Okay. Now, let us deal with the first question here. What is the first question? If the two numbers are 12 and 15, therefore the given numbers are 12 and 15. So, let me write the solution here. So, one second. So now the given two numbers are what are the given numbers? The given numbers are 12 and 15. These are the two numbers, and also LCM value is given. LCM is nothing but LCM of 12 and 15 LCM is 60. It seems here. 12 and 15 LCM is 60. Then find their HCF. Find their HCF. Now we can use the relation between LCM and HCF, which is nothing but product of two numbers. What is the relation we discussed now? So product of two numbers equals to product of their LCM and HCF. So nothing but is equals to LCM into HCF. Product of two numbers. We know the two numbers. 12 into 15 product means multiplication okay now LCM into HCF LCM value also we know which is nothing but 60 and HCF we should find now 60 is multiplied here when you transpose it will divide so 12 into 15 by 60 12 table exactly 5 times and 5 table 15 3 times Therefore, HCF which is equals to 3. The HCF value is 3. So, nothing but option number 4. Clear? So, when you take any two numbers, their relation between LCM and HCF is clearly product of two numbers equals to product of their LCM and HCF. Okay? So, now let us deal with the next question. Now, question number 2. What is the question number 2 here? If the product of two numbers is 64, this time directly product is given. What is given? Product. So, product of two numbers. Product of two numbers value is equals to 64. And HCF value also given. HCF equals to 16. Then find their LCM. So, as we know that the relation between them, product of two numbers, product of two numbers equals to product of LCM and HCF. Okay. So, the two numbers product we know already which is nothing but 64 equals to LCM into HCF. What is LCM here? LCM value only we need to find. So, write LCM as it is. And HCF, HCF value is 16. Now to find the LCM, the multiplied 6, try to transpose towards LHS, then it will divide. 16 table in 64, 4 times. 16 fours are 64, therefore LCM of both the numbers is 4. LCM of the both the number is 4. Okay. Yeah. Actually, while you are observing clearly, we learn the condition like when you take any two numbers, the LCM of the two numbers is neither less than any of the number. LCM is always more than the given two numbers. Okay. That means here clearly you should understand instead of LCM, the value which is given 60 uh, HCF. Okay. 
rate. So let us move on to the next problem. Yeah, question number three. See here the HCF and LCM of two numbers are six and thirty-six respectively. That means HCF value is six and LCM value which is equals to thirty-six. And also one more point. One of the number is twelve. One of the number. One of the number is twelve. find the other so whenever you see lcm and hcf in the same question immediately you should remember their relation which is nothing but product of two numbers what is the relation product of two numbers equals to lcm into hcf product of two numbers equals to lcm into hcf okay now the given two numbers what are the number here one of the number only one number is given 12 and the second number is not given let us consider the second number as x unknown thing we are habituated to take or compare with x x value so 12 into x because second number we don't know so let the second number is x then first number 12 second number x 12 into x is equals to lcm into hcf lcm value 6 Sorry, LCM value is thirty six and HCF value is six, thirty six into six. So from this X value, thirty six into six, here twelve is multiplied when you transpose divides. Exactly, six table in twelve two times six ones are six. Two table in six thirty six is eighteen times. Therefore, X is equals to eighteen. The other number or the second number is eighteen. Okay, now please look into it so we can move on to the next problem. So let us see the question number four, children. Now finding the HCF of fractional numbers. So how to find the HCF of fractional numbers? So there is a formula for HCF of fractional numbers, which is nothing but. Yeah, HCF of fractions is equals to hcf of numerators that means fraction contains numerators and denominators right now for finding the hcf of fractional numbers we need to find the hcf of numerators and lcm of denominators hcf of numerators and lcm of denominators right now what are the numerators here the numerators all are same the given numbers are nothing but 1 by 2 1 by 3 and 1 by 4 all are having a same numerator so when you find out the hcf of same numbers the number itself will be the hcf so hcf of numerator is 1 here And the LCM of denominators. Now let us find the LCM of denominators by doing the common division method. Two, three, four together. I have taken to find out the LCM. Now two table here, two table one time, two table three won't come as it is. Two table four two times. Again two table, two table one won't come, three won't come one time. Now three table. Therefore, LCM which is equals to two into two into three two two is our four four three is our twelve. Therefore, LCM of denominators is twelve. Now, overall HCF of these three numbers will be one by twelve. Okay, na? So, what is the formula we discussed here? HCF of numerators by LCM of denominators. Okay. So, let us move on to the next problem. Question number five. What are the fractions that are being here? One by seven, one by eight, and one by twelve. Same model. HCF of fractional numbers. While you are observing the numerators of a fraction here, all numerators are same. So for finding the HCF of fractional numbers, the formula which is nothing but HCF of numerators by LCM of 
denominators. Now, when you are having all the numerators are same, the HCF is itself the same number. So, therefore, the HCF of all ones being 1 here and LCM of denominators. What are the denominators here? 7, 8 and 2. So, 8 and 2 having a common factor 2, we can take 2 table here. 2 table 7 won't come as it is. 2 4s are 8, 2 1s are 2. And 7 is 7 and 4 are co primes. That means only 1 is a common factor between them. Then we can directly take the LCM of 7 and 4 is their product. So, therefore, we can write LCM equals to 2 into 7 into 4. So, 2 4s are 8, 8 7s are 56. So, LCM of denominators is 56. HCF of numerators is 1. So, overall HCF of given fractional numbers is 1 by 56. Therefore, the answer is 1 by 56. Okay. So, let us go through the problem number 6. Yeah. Again, fractional numbers 1 by 2, 1 by 3 and 1 by 4. How to find the LCM? So, previous two problems are based on HCF. Now, we need to find out LCM problems. Again, LCM of fractional numbers. The formula is equals to LCM of numerators. LCM of numerators by HCF of denominators. LCM of numerators by HCF of denominators. See, all the numerators are same. So, we can say the LCM of all ones being 1 only. Now, HCF of denominators. 2, 3, 4, HCF. 2, 3, 4, HCF. Now, try to find out the HCF of 2, 1, 3. We know every consecutive numbers. That means, when you take any two consecutive numbers, the HCF of two consecutive numbers is always 1 and also we can call the two consecutive numbers as co-primes or relatively prime numbers. So that from 2 and 3, HCF of 2 and 3 is 1. HCF of 2 and 3 is 1 and I told you all in the previous classes, the co-primes or relatively primes definition which is nothing but HCF of any two consecutive events or any two consecutive numbers is always 1, then we can call the consecutive numbers as co-primes or relatively prime numbers. Now, here 1, what are the remaining number is being here? 4. Now, find the HCF of 1 and 4. 1 and 4 HCF is always 1. 1 and 4 HCF is always 1. If you have a doubt, you can take smaller number as divisor and larger number as dividend. So, 1 table in 4. 1, 4 is 4. Reminder 0, when you get the reminder 0, its divisor will be HCF. Therefore, 1 by 1, 1 by 1, which is nothing but 1. So, LCM of these fractional numbers is nothing but 1. Okay. Now, let us try to move on to the next problem. Yeah. The product of two numbers equals 2. We discussed the relation between LCM and HCF, which is nothing but the product of two numbers equals to product of their LCM and HCF. So, according to this, the relation is given that LCM into HCF. Product of two numbers is always equals to product of LCM and HCF. Okay. Now, let us go through the next problem. Problem number 8. The product of two numbers equals to 180. That means from this question, the given product or product of two numbers, product of two numbers product of two numbers. What is the product is given? 180 and then their LCM into HCF according to the formula we know that LCM into HCF of any two numbers equals to their product. So, simply product of two numbers equals to LCM into HCF we know already product of two numbers 180. So, therefore, LCM into HCF value also 180. Okay? Now, let us try to move on to the next problem. 
Yeah, problem number four. Finding the LCM of fractional numbers 2 by 4, 1 by 4 and 1 by 8. 2 by 4, 1 by 4 and 1 by 8. Now here 2 by 4 we can cancel like 1 by 2. Both are can be cancelled in two table. 1 by 2, 1 by 4 and 1 by 8. Okay, 2, 4 and 8. Now find the LCM of these numbers. What is the LCM formula? LCM of the given fractional numbers are nothing but LCM of numerators by HCF of denominators. So when you observe these numbers 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8 all are having same numerator so that LCM of these numbers is always 1 and HCF of denominators 2, 4, 8 HCF. 2 and 4 HCF. So you can take like this. So 2 table, 2 twos are 4. Remainder 0. So first 2 numbers HCF is 2. And what is the number remaining? 8. Again 2 and 8 HCF. So 4s are 8. Remainder 0. When you get the remainder 0, its divisor will be HCF. So overall 2, 4, 8 HCF will be 2. Therefore LCM of given numbers is nothing but 1 by 2. So please look into it. So let us move on to the problem number 10. Right, again HCF of the given numbers 1 by, sorry, 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4. So 2 is a whole number, 1 by 3, 1 by 4 are fractional numbers. The Every whole number we can write it as improper fraction, 2 by 1. Okay. Now finding HCF. HCF of fractional numbers is nothing but HCF of numerators by LCM of denominators. LCM of denominators. So what are the numerators are being here? 2, 1, 1. The numerators are 2, 1, 1. So, while you are observing all of the numbers, the smaller one is 1 and 1 is a factor of 2. 1 is a factor of 2. That means, each and every number will come in one table. So, 1 is a common factor. That is also the highest common factor. Highest common factor is having here 1. So, that we can say that 1 is a HCF. Or else if you want to find the HCF of first two numbers by the regular method, you can do like this. The smaller one, 1 is always divisor. The larger one, dividend. So 1 table, 1, 2 are 2, remainder 0. So when you get the remainder 0, its divisor will be HCF. That means first two numbers HCF is 1 and second number also 1. When you have the same numbers, both are having same number, the HCF is always the same number itself. So HCF of numerator is 1. Now LCM of denominators, LCM of denominators, what are the denominators we have 1, 3 and 4. So try to find the LCM 3 and 4 are co-primes, the LCM of co-primes are relative prime numbers is nothing but their product. So directly we can write LCM equals to 3 into 4, 3 fours are 12. So therefore 1 by 12 is the LCM, sorry, HCF of the given numbers. Okay, 1 by 12 is the HCF of given numbers. Right. So, let us try to move on to the next problem. Right. HCF of 8 by 15 and 16 by 125. Only two numbers are given. So, whether it is two numbers or three numbers, the formula will be same. The HCF of the fractional numbers is nothing but HCF of numerators by LCM of denominators. Now try to find the HCF of numerators. 8 and 16. 8 and 16 directly we can do 8 is HCF or else smaller number is dividend. Oh sorry, smaller number is divisor and the larger number is dividend. So 8 table 16, 8 twos are 16, remainder 0. When you get the remainder 0, its divisor will be HCF. So therefore HCF is 8. And LCM of denominators. So LCM is 15 and 125. I am taking 5 table here. 5 3s are 15. 5 25s are 
125 and 3 and 25 are co primes because 3 is not a factor of 125 okay there is no common factor 3 and 25 so lcm will be directly 5 into 3 into 25 so we know that 525s are 125 into 3 so 3 into 125 is 375 therefore hcf of the given numbers equals to 8 by 375 okay right so let us move on to the next problem now hcf of 1 by 2 2 by 3 HCF of 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 3 by 4 and 4 by 5. This time 4 fractional numbers are given. How many it can be? We are using the same formula. HCF of fractional numbers are nothing but HCF of numerators by LCM of denominators. Now just try to identify the numerical values or numerators here. The numerators are nothing but consecutive numbers. Numerators are nothing but consecutive numbers. So we know already. So 1 and 2 consecutive numbers, the HCF is always 1. Then only we can call every two consecutive numbers as co-primes or relatively prime numbers. Again, 1 and 3 HCF is 1. 1 and 4 HCF is 1. When you take like this consecutive numbers, all the numbers having the same HCF, which is nothing but 1. So HCF of numerators is 1. And LCM of denominators. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, we can find LCM because 2 and 4 having a common factor 2. That is equal to 2 ones are 2 table 3 won't come as it is we can write 3, 2 table 2 times and 5. So, again 2, 3, 5 all are prime numbers. So, LCM we can directly write like 2 into 3 into 2 into 5. That means 2 twos are 4 or 60 here. 4 15s are 60. LCM is 60. Therefore, HCF of given numbers is 1 by 60. Okay? Right. Yeah, that's it for today, children. Thank you, one and all. Have a nice day.